if your game is a failure. This is the place where you face the emotional impact of doing something that people seem to ignore. And in some cases financial problems that just don't make money with your work. If the game is a success, take care of the press and comments here. And if it's commercial, take care of the financial and legal aspects of making a successful game. And the emotional impact of doing something that people seem to like. There is a difference between people who want to make games and game developers. If there's any reason I can keep arguing about design today, it's because I've read books, attended conferences, heard smarter people, and played more than 30 games that were horrible. If you want to be a game developer, start making a lot of games. That's when I realize that the design experience isn't in the size of your games or even their scope. But in the number of projects you've known, Game a Week is a challenge that forces budding developers to create a large number of games. Start cutting things that don't work or contradict the game's message. The only difference is that game developers make games. If you don't know how to make games, download something like Game Maker, Unity, Stencil or Construct. It means thinking about who you want to play this game and how you should play it or not in making sure things are where they would be or not looking for certain things. It's about learning a lot of games and then deciding if it's worth working on the game of your dreams. This story of people who had a lot of success in their first game? There is no such thing. Play with ideas. Take the game in interesting directions. Don't concentrate too much on what you're still doing.